these are the official New York Fashion Week shows. These designers are normally booked by um, the top agencies. We're talking IMG, we're talking Q Models, we're talking Muse, we're talking Ford. But then there are smaller designers that aren't as well known. So I can see two shows on this schedule that I have the castings for. So there is a possibility. I choose to be in this industry where it's not my education that's allowing me to book the jobs. It is all genetic and physical attributes. And people don't realize how much models have to do in order to succeed. I feel like they think that just modeling is always about the glamorous life, the traveling, the money, and it's just a lot of hard work and people just don't understand about it. Always being told that you're too fat or your body's not right, but you choose to place yourself there. And if you can't handle it, you need to take yourself out of the situation. It's a game and you choose to play it or you choose to sit out. I am a small town Jersey girl. I grew up in a really tiny town called Sea Warren, New Jersey. I'm with a handful of smaller boutique agencies in New York and New Jersey that handle some fashion work for me. I also freelance myself, so the wonderful aspect of being non-exclusive is that I'm able to take on offers myself that come through other people. I don't need to go through an agent. But at this point, I would love to be with a top fashion agency that can control what work I should or should not take. When I first moved here from Texas to New York, I was looking at the top agencies, all of them, from like Wilhelmina, Major, Elite, Ford, they all said the same thing to me, which was I was too tall or, you know, which clients would be able to use me. And it was definitely tough because you don't want to receive those same negative comments or feedback. I recently signed with Heartland Modeling Agency in August. And ever since I signed, I've just been working very hard. Just because I'm signed doesn't mean I get to relax. I have to work 20 times harder in order to work for the clients or the designers. And the schedule of a model is always go, go, go. You always have to be ready when you're with multiple agencies and agents that are sending you out over and over again. Not only do sometimes those castings overlap, you're also unaware of which runways are more respectable than others. Certain runways that I should not have even bothered going to. And then there are those that were top of the line. The hardest part is not getting the jobs that you want. With me being taller, I don't normally get all of the jobs like people expect or think I would. Hearing those negative comments, the critiques, but I try not to let that affect me. Part of the industry and a part of this entire world is being confident in who you are and going into these castings knowing that you deserve to be there. Uh, Long Island City. Okay. Hi, Clayton. Hi, this is your self defending myself. Um, she said she just had to meet with you herself would be a week from tomorrow. While the shows are going on, and I wouldn't be able to book any through her. You're not getting into shows right now. That's not going to happen. Um, that's not going to happen with anybody. It's too late. I, okay. Now, what you got to worry about is stop worrying about fucking shows, okay? Start worrying about getting a good agent. That's what you got to start doing. They will not book you unless you book through an agent. They won't do it. So, yeah. you know, you got to deal with that. And, you know, start going along with the program, okay? There's steps. Get you an agent first. After that, you'll go to all the show casting. It'll be automatic. Okay. okay.
you need to get used to the rejection that happens often. You don't know why you're being rejected. You don't know why an agency is not signing you. You don't know why a client doesn't want you. Unfortunately, I didn't get the shows that I wanted to do, but I was considered for some of them. I didn't think I would actually be at that level at this point, but you have to maintain that kind of confidence in yourself and that kind of confidence in your ability. I know I deserve to be there. I was disappointed not to book the shows, but it fuels the fire for next season. Like, I'm just going to get my body to be even better and even more amazing and make sure that I am what they need. <laughs> I was gonna be up there on those billboards one day. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Before New York Fashion Week started, I tried out for a lot of different fashion shows. I was able to model for a handful of jobs and designers. I feel like I'm still behind, even though I've been working and doing a lot. It's definitely tough because I feel like I should be in Europe right now and being on magazines and TV shows and everything and all the big runway shows. I don't regret any of it. I would have regretted not going to the castings. I'm well aware that it just takes one booker, one agent, one agency that supports you and wants to push for you. And it's a matter of not only your genetics, but it's also a matter of luck and time. People know and see that I can make it in the fashion industry, but it takes a lot of work in order for me to get there. It took a long time for me to get to where I am now. So it's a lot of pressure, but I know that in the end, everything will work out, and it just takes a lot of patience and time. 